Hi, I'm Jasma. Let's make crystal dumpling bunnies for the Chinese New Year. Chinese New Year is the biggest holiday in China, and it's where we celebrate our New Year according to the lunar calendar. Usually it takes place in February, but for 2023, it's actually on January 22nd. And the lunar calendar functions on a 12-year cycle that is corresponded with the Chinese zodiac consisted of 12 animals. So 2023 happens to be the year of the rabbit. Dumplings are a staple food for Chinese New Year, and it actually makes for quite an activity because people would usually get together and fold the dumplings as a family and then consume them. I do have a full, very comprehensive guide on how to make dumplings completely from scratch if you want to give it a try. So today I'm making crystal dumplings. They are steamed rather than boiled, so the process is a little bit different. I'm gonna get started by making the dumpling filling. This is a shrimp dumpling, and you want to do this before the wrapper so that the ingredients kind of have a bit of time to marinate to get all those flavors. And you can also do it far in advance and just keep it in the fridge until it's ready to be wrapped. I have my shrimp that is deveined and shelled, my water chestnuts, which is gonna add a nice crunch to the filling, as well as some green onions. For some quick ingredient prep, you wanna peel all the water chestnuts carefully with a sharp paring knife and give it all a rinse and also finely chop the green onions. Get yourself a food safe, clean plastic bag. In goes the shelled and deveined shrimp that I patted dry. And we're doing this because when it comes to making shrimp filling for dumplings, you don't want to chop the shrimp to the point where it becomes like a fine mixture. You want it to be kind of chunky so you can actually taste the shrimp. So what we're gonna do instead is smack it with a cleaver. And the bag is there so you don't make a massive mess and when you're slapping the shrimp, it doesn't fly everywhere. You can also use a rolling pin if you want it to look less violent. And once you've flattened the shrimp, you can use the back of the knife to kind of break it into smaller bits. Once done, transfer the shrimp into a clean mixing bowl. Then using the same bag, I'm also gonna crush the water chestnut. Coming back to the shrimp, season it using some salt, black pepper, and sesame oil. To mix, I like to use my hand while wearing a glove. Stir in the same direction until the shrimp becomes sticky and gummy and holds together like this. Then add in the crushed water chestnuts and chopped green onions and continue mixing until everything binds together. And now that the filling is complete, cover with plastic wrap and store in the fridge until you need to use it. Now onto making the dumpling wrappers. I'm using this steamed shrimp dumpling wrapper mix. All this is is wheat flour and tapioca starch, and it kind of just gives you a shortcut to having to mix the ratio yourself. If you can't get your hands on the steamed dumpling wrapper mix, you can make your own from scratch by combining a 2 to 1 ratio of wheat flour to tapioca starch. The wheat flour is what makes the wrapper translucent and give that crystal effect, while the tapioca starch offers the stickiness necessary to keep the dough together. Add the flavorless oil and salt to the mix, and prepare your boiling hot water, and stream that into the mix while stirring. The heat of this water is going to gently cook the dough so that it's nice and malleable and also have that crystal effect once it's fully cooked. Once a dough has formed and it's cooled down to the point where it's safe to touch, flip everything onto a work surface and knead with your hands until a smooth ball has formed. This will be a little tacky at first, but don't jump to add in more of that wrapper mix unless it's actually impossible to work with. Now dust your work surface and roll this dough into a log. Then you wanna cut the log in half, then each half into eight pieces. This is going to form 16 dumpling wrappers and you can just eyeball this, there's really no need to measure. And when you're done, just keep everything covered. This is a bamboo steamer, it's how things are traditionally done, but you can also use just a regular pot to steam these. Using some steamer paper, I'm lining the bottom of the bamboo steamer so that the dumplings don't end up sticking to it. Now to assemble the dumplings, be sure to keep the wrappers covered at all times so that it doesn't end up drying out. And I also just took the filling out from the fridge. I have some more of the steamed shrimp dumpling wrapper mix here. This is going to be used as a dusting powder to make sure that the wrapper doesn't stick. 
Lastly, a bench scraper is handy because for these wrappers, it's a lot easier if you just press them down rather than rolling them out with a rolling pin. Start by dusting your work surface with more of that dumpling wrapper mix. You can also use wheat flour. Then flatten your piece of dough and grab your bench scraper and press it while turning until it becomes a flat and even wrapper like this. Dust off any excess powder, then grab your filling and place a little dollop in the middle, about a tablespoon will do. Make tiny folds to close up the dumpling, and keep in mind this doesn't have the same elasticity as regular wrappers, so be very gentle with it. Then grab the excess dough to form a point, flatten that slightly, and grab your bench scraper to make a cut down the middle. This is going to form the bunny ears. Flip the dumpling over to put the ears in place and pinch the front to create the snout. And finally, just make some indents in the ears using the back of a fork to give it that final detail. Then just place it into the steamer and repeat with the rest. This recipe makes 16 dumplings weighing 40 grams total with the filling and the wrapper both being roughly 20 grams each. No one really measures when it comes to making dumplings, you can just eyeball the whole process, but that is a rough number for you to reference. Now that all the bunny dumplings are assembled, they're ready to be steamed. I have a pot of boiling water on the stove on high heat, and this is gonna steam for around six minutes or until you can see the pink of the shrimp and the wrapper is nice and translucent. These are best enjoyed straight away and you can dip them in really anything you want. I usually go with vinegar, but they taste amazing on their own too. You can find this recipe fully written now with all of its instructions on my blog, jasmafusioncuisine.com. And if you are looking for more recipe inspiration for Chinese New Year, I have a two-part series with over 10 different meaningful traditional Chinese recipes with modern influences that you can try out. Thanks for watching.